take you in a walk. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Bedr Walid Rafi, group three. I'll talk about durable metabolism. Okay, what do we know about durable metabolism? When someone hears durable metabolism, they think that it's the degradation of RBC, but that's wrong. It needs many detailed process. I'll simplify it by using those diagrams as we can see. These are RBCs. When we degrade the RBCs from right and left, okay, by using the macrophage. When the macrophage is degraded by when the RBC is degraded by macrophage, either in the bone marrow spleen or in the cup for cell in the liver, it will produce us globin or heme. Okay, it will produce us globin and heme. That is a degradation of the RBC cells. Here we have one heme, we have one globin, one heme, and one globin. Okay, the, then the degradation of the heme will produce us uh, biliverdin and iron. This is the biliverdin, this is the iron. This is iron, I'm sorry. This is biliverdin. Okay, when the biliverdin is uh, uh, produced and the iron, it needs an enzyme. That enzyme is the heme oxygenase. And when we produce biliverdin, it's unstable and to be, uh, to be quickly oxidized. Okay, by the uh, quickly re uh, reduced by the biliverdin reductase. When we reduce the biliverdin reductase, then uh, we'll have the bilirubin. Now we have the bilirubin, not uh, quickly after RBC degradation. It's actually by the reduction of the biliverdin. Now we have the bilirubin. It's unconjugated. The unconjugated bilirubin is, as Nawaf said, insoluble in water. It's a liquid soluble. So the excess amount of the unconjugated bilirubin is dangerous in the blood-brain barrier because when we have an excess amount of that unconjugated bilirubin, it will be easy to go through the brain and it might uh, cause chondritis or in severe cases, cerebral palsy. Okay, this unconjugated bilirubin, it can move freely. It needs albumin, so it can walk in the, to, it can transport through the blood, I mean. So the albumin carries the unconjugated bilirubin, okay? Then there is something called the conjugation. What is the conjugation? It's when we take the unconjugated bilirubin to make it a conjugated bilirubin, but it's not an easy process. We, use, we add the glucuronic acid on the bilirubin, the unconjugated bilirubin. Now we have a conjugated bilirubin, but this is not easy. We need an enzyme. The enzyme is where is my enzyme? There is my enzyme. <laughs> there is my enzyme. Okay, it's used by the UDB glucuronic transferase. Okay. Now we have the addition of the glucuronic acid. Okay, now we have the conjugated bilirubin. It moves from the liver to the second part of the duodenum by uh, through the common by uh, through the common bile ducts. Then the conjugated bilirubin moves through all the intestine until it reaches the last part of the small intestine, at the ileum, or at the beginning of the large intestine. Then, intestine, in British, you call it intestine. Uh, the, the intestine... Uh, so, so it's England. The, the large intestine, Okay, there's a bacteria that removes the gluconic acid that is attached to the bilirubin, okay? But uh, this is an oxidizing bacteria. When we remove the gluconic acid that attached to the bilirubin, now it transforms to a urobilinogen. When it's a urobilinogen, it's again a lipid soluble substance. This urobilinogen, 90% to 85, uh, it's been uh, secreted through the feces by oxidizing it by another bacteria to take rubella and giving it the brown color of the feces. So when the urobilogen is oxidized, and we call it sterculogen because it will go by the feces, that's why we call it sterculogen. It will be oxidized by an oxidizing bacteria. Not the same bacteria that oxidized the uh, conjugated bilirubin to urobilinogen. It's another bacteria. So it's uh, oxidized. Then it will uh, transform from stercobilinogen to stercobilin, and that's I said, giving it the brown pigment. Then, at 15 to 10 percent of 
your uh, uh, your biology goes through the portal vein. I'm sorry, it's red. We didn't have to through the uh, portal vein. Okay, when the, it goes to the portal vein, 15 to 10 percent, as I said, five percent of it go to the interior hepatic cycle and resecreted into the common bile duct again with the bile salt and the other substance. Then it is in the in the liver. 10 to 5 percent, the remaining percent goes to the kidney. Okay, uh, as a urobiology, still uh, the same form of urobiology. When you go to the urobiology to the kidney, it get oxidized uh, to produce a stercrobilin, and the stercrobilin is the uh, yellow color of the urine. It's been excreted by the urine, and 